What happens when you connect two Android smartphones uh, together with USB-C to USB-C? Would it like a boom and explode? Of course not. There are a whole lot of features available for Android via the USB port C uh, that many Android phone users are not using. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top four features of USB C to USB C on Android. And if you learn or start using any of them, you'll be surprised that you may no longer be able to do without it. So if you're ready, come with me. Let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot, and I'm so excited to have you on this one. If you've watched our video before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, why not click on that subscribe button and turn the notification bell icon to get videos like this. So let's quickly jump into the things I do. Some interesting things I do with the USB port that is probably on your Android smartphone. Number one is I use one Android phone to charge the other one. So if you have a phone that is 4,000 milliampers, battery 5,000, 6,000, it can also be a subtle power bank. But how do you choose which one charges the other? So, and that's what I'm gonna to explain to you. So first of all, if this is the phone that is low that you want to charge, that is the phone that you have to connect the USB-C cable first. So you connect the USB cable first to the phone that is low that you want to charge and then the next thing is now you now connect the other usb cable end to the phone that will be the one charging this one that is low so that's simple once you connect that you also get other options uh like gallery transfer if it is samsung to samsung phone you see the option for smart switch you can see mtp file transfer you know many 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 other options also the number two thing i do is that i also use my usb-c with an otg adapter i can use it sometimes to power my led lights because uh, they don't demand a lot of current and then i also can use it uh, to charge my wireless bluetooth uh, headset so number three is one of the things I do most of the time with my USB-C to USB-C. Of course, I know that there are a whole lot of other options that you can use to transfer things wirelessly. But let's say I've shot a lot of 4K videos here that are plenty uh, and I want to move it to another phone and I don't want to use all this wireless transfer. You have to open this app on this one, open on the other one, merge them together and all that. I just use a cable to connect the two phones together. So mind you, when you're doing this, there are different protocols for different phones mtp is general on android that supports otg then if there's one for one plus there's for lg phones there's for samsung samsung uses samsung switch that's for pixel so once you connect it the last phone you connect will now pop up some other option it can give you mpt it can give you gallery transfer it can give you file transfer it can give you smart switch depending on the device so for this we are using samsung and samsung uses smart switch i like smart switch because it's kind of fast and it can do some other things and copy other things uh, that i also would need which would be the number four so i did a test here where i copied a file about 1.06 gig from uh, my old s8 to my s24 ultra and I timed it here so this is the timing of course it was able to transfer over one gig of file in about 50 seconds which is very very nice and then the final one that I do often apart from transferring uh, files uh, from one Android phone to another Android phone with USB-C one of the most things that is so problematic for me when it comes to moving to an Android phone is my Google accounts I manage a lot of Google accounts for businesses for websites and a lot of stuff those accounts have two-factor authentication but in this particular place with USB-C to USB-C transfer using smart switch in this case for Samsung and it's also available for default Android you can move an Android uh, account from one phone to the other using that uh, copy phone from old phone and as you can see I was able to move my Google accounts from the old S8 to the new S24 Ultra 
up to 15 over 15 accounts and i didn't have to start doing the two-factor authentication resigning in that is a life changer uh, so there are a whole lot of other things and features you can do with uh usb-c you can do things like a camera you can use it to do like extended camera uh to your computer and all that so let me hear from you in the comment section have you ever been using the usb-c function on your phone for other things apart from just plugging it to charge or connecting it to a computer or pc now make sure you click on that subscribe button if you want to get more videos like this do like share so that other people can see this and um until i see you in the next one it is peace subscribe i see you